Here you see some power resistors and in this video I want to show how you can use a transistor power type as a resistor. In fact it is not very difficult to do that in this case. You need a power transistor like a 355. That's an NPN power transistor and it means that when we add a positive voltage to the base or a positive current, a current starts to flow from collector to emitter and this current depends on the amount of base current. So with this resistor we set the amount of base current, positive base current, and we also can change the resistance value from the collector to the emitter through the lamp and back. Um, this circuit is useful for AC and DC, so in both cases you can use this circuit as a dimmer. And this is the second circuit that I've made. Um, this is another type of circuit. It's absolutely not useful for AC your potentiometer will burn out. I've tested it. And this circuit has also certain advantages because of the fact that we can also make the base here negative. So when we turn the potentiometer to the minus, the base is completely negative and no current will flow from collector to emitter through the lamp and back. And this circuit here is in fact this circuit. I've made it here. This is the lamp. The power transistor mounted on a very big heatsink. It gets very hot. This is the input voltage. And when I turn the potentiometer now, the lamp lights up more or less. So you can use this as a small lamp dimmer, only for DC. It can go up to approximately 20 volts and approximately 500 milliampere. And the reason is the current um, amplification of the power transistor. That's not so very high uh, to get a higher current. Uh, you can also use the circuit as a dummy load, and that circuit is here. Now the lamp is in fact shortcut, or isn't there. Here normally is the lamp. And the transistor, the power transistor, takes the complete uh, energy in the circuit, so it gets very hot, mounted on a big heatsink. You can use this for instance to test a transformer on its power ratio. Of course you can connect here an uh, amperimeter and a voltmeter to see uh, what uh, power um, a transformer in practice can give. This is in fact the same circuit. I have already explained it. Here we can make the base negative so we can uh, break the current from collector to emitter completely. So here we can also set the power dissipation of this transistor. In fact, this is the circuit in electronic terms. The transistor acts as a resistor for DC. And here it's also useful for an AC application. These are the applications, dummy load, resistor or a dimmer or a small lamp. And these are the properties. Of course this circuit is no voltage stabilizer and also no current stabilizer because voltage and current depend on the varying uh, voltage here and the varying current in the transistor. So it doesn't stabilize, it only acts as a resistor. In the next video I hope to show a circuit with which you can uh, dim uh, bigger currents. So it's possible to replace 
these uh, resistors in DC applications by this simple circuit.